Hello folks, I'm Matt here to help you on your journey to financial freedom. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about Dave Ramsey's method of buying a home. Now, what he tells us is that we should get a 15 year mortgage with 20% down. And your monthly mortgage should be less than 25% of your monthly take home pay. Now, this is not a bad philosophy to have, but you know, some families are in a position where they need to buy a home for various reasons, right? So if you need to get a 30 year mortgage to take advantage of low interest rates, or you have special reasons why you need to move into a home, try to have a plan in place so that you can get to a point where you could possibly refi, refinance into a 15 year mortgage or a 20 year mortgage. It is important to recognize the amount of interest that you can save by having a 15 year mortgage. But at the same time, if you have kids, you know, you want your kids to be in a better school district, you can't wait five, 10, 15 years before you can buy a home under his methodology, right? Under his plan to have a 15 year mortgage, you may find a home that you're only able to afford a 30 year mortgage, but that school district that you're going to be able to get your kids in is top notch, right? Nine out of 10, a 10 out of 10. And in my opinion, it's worth going into a 30 year mortgage. If I know my kids are going to be able to get the best education available within my area, within the state that I live in. And if you do go with a 30 year mortgage, just be careful not to overspend. Make sure you're budgeting appropriately. Remember, this is still a big part of your financial freedom journey. You've got to budget and you've got to factor in this 30 year mortgage that you're going to hopefully, you know, you can start to pay off a little bit more and more and more so you can try to reduce the timeline of having that mortgage. Now, Dave Ramsey suggests in baby step six to pay off your home early. Now, this is after you've saved a three to six month emergency fund. You're investing for retirement, 15% of your income. You're also funding, you know, kids college funds. He suggests to go ahead and start to pay off your home early. Now, there's nothing wrong with wanting to pay your home off early. I'm all for it. However, if you're already going to have a 15 year mortgage, well, I think there is an opportunity cost that you're going to be missing out on if you decide to go ahead and start paying off your home early. What is this cost? What is this cost going with this opportunity over going another opportunity? I think when you take that action to pay off your home early, it limits the opportunities that you have to save and invest in other buckets and having an HSA and having IRAs and having even Roth IRAs for your child if you're able to get them some kind of work, some kind of employment income that you're able to put money aside for them to build up an IRA, even if it's an UGMA or an UDMA that can grow and build with your child as they grow. What I'm saying is you have other avenues that you can save and invest your money in that will give you financial freedom, I think, sooner than if you just went ahead and started paying off your home early. You want to build wealth. At least in my eyes, building wealth is not paying off your home early. It's saving and investing your money in different accounts, whether it's a savings account, retirement savings account, or if it's a taxable account even, because we see the problems with health care, the problems with social security. There are so many issues that are going to be taking place in the next 20, 30, 40 years that you want to be able to fund as much of these different accounts that you have the ability to. So this is a step, baby step six, where I think Dave should give more options, right? If you want to pay off your home early, then go ahead. But remember, you have other opportunities. You have other options to save and invest, to build even more wealth, to let that compound interest continue to work and work and work for you. In my opinion, having a 15, 20, or 30 year mortgage is not necessarily bad. As long as you're building a one to two year emergency, you're working to fully fund retirement savings accounts, you're saving for your kids' college funds, you're doing everything you can on the other side. If you're going to just have a 30 year mortgage to have a lower payment so you can go and go on trips and, and just spend frivolously, spend all you want. I'm not saying go not go on trips, but definitely enjoy your life. But budget because if you're going to have a 30 year mortgage remember you're going to be paying a lot more interest so if there's a way for you to be able to put a little bit more on that monthly payment to try to reduce the amount of interest you pay and reduce the amount of time that you're going to be with that mortgage you give yourself that flexibility so if you do come across months where you're strapped for cash money is low at least you know that you're going to be able to afford that monthly payment because you've been building up a savings fund you've been doing things right to make sure that your monthly monthly payment is low and not going to be like a 15 year mortgage payment where it might otherwise be 25 or 30% of your monthly income versus a 30 year mortgage payment where that might be around 15 or 10% of your monthly income. Of course, remember, if you end up going with the 30 year mortgage, you'll end up paying more in interest because you're going to have that mortgage for a longer period of time. And you're going to get charged that interest on that money on that balance that's continuing to accrue. But 
Again, this goes back to opportunity cost. Maybe you don't want to be in an apartment anymore and you just want that privacy. You need as a family, you need as an individual or have a family member who needs special assistance, needs some kind of living arrangements that they can only have in a house and that kind of living arrangement is necessary. These are the parts of owning a home that's really important. Living arrangements, making sure that we take care of who we need to take care of. Are we in good neighborhoods? Are we in good school districts for our kids? There are so many parts of owning a home where the 30-year mortgage or a 15-year mortgage, it's not black and white. It's not just you can go into a 15-year mortgage or you can go into a 30-year mortgage. The person getting a 30-year mortgage, it may help them get into a nicer neighborhood versus waiting to try to get 20% or waiting to get 25% of their monthly income to let them move into a good neighborhood if they were to go by the way Dave Ramsey would suggest. I'm all for you getting into the best neighborhoods you can, getting into the best school districts for your children, and having the best opportunities for you and your family. And if that means having a 30-year mortgage where that monthly payment is not so much, you know, we don't want 50%. We don't want 5-0, 50% of our monthly income going to a mortgage. Maybe keep that around that 30 to 20%, even if it's a 30-year mortgage, and then find different ways to increase your income so that you're able able to be able to afford that moving forward and able to start paying off a little bit more each month so that you reduce the amount of interest that you're going to be paying at the same time you're reducing that timeline that you're going to be sitting with that mortgage so yes a 30-year mortgage can work as long as you make the decision to be responsible with the other parts of your financial goals that we just discussed full disclaimer when we moved into our first home we did get that 15-year mortgage something that i was very much interested in because of the whole thing about you know having to pay more interest with a 30-year mortgage and let me tell you paying off the home early is going to be one of the last decisions we make because of all the other important ways that you can use and save your money so one question for you all are you planning to pay off your home early why or why not thanks for hanging out with me on this video i'll talk to y'all soon peace